Aloha, my name is Christine Sakuda and I'm the Executive Director of Transform Hawaii Government. It's my pleasure to initiate the CIMP program for this year, which is the Community Innovation Mentorship Program 2.0. We are excited to be back. Transform Hawaii Government is a nonprofit organization that is dedicated to supporting technology transformation within state government in order to help our community in Hawaii thrive. The True Initiative aims to support tech-enabled organizations through collaboration and sharing of solutions. It is sponsored by the Change Framework as a part of the Hawaii Executive Collaborative. Transform Hawaii Government is excited to be a sponsor again of the CIMP Program 2.0. In addition to THG, we are happy to be working with the College of Engineering again and Data House, and also will be joined by Belt Collins and the Department of Education, along with the Hawaii Technology Development Corporation. Together, we provide a network of support for the interns that are really a part of this program to solve real world problems and get real world experience through their College of Engineering degree program. The CIMP program 2.0 provides significant impact to the state of Hawaii. The students are armed with valuable work experience and mentorship. They solve real life problems and solutions that impact the community. We cultivate community leaders through the internship program by supporting the students. And we are also collectively able to really give back to our community by working together inside and outside of state government and really support the next generation of leaders in Hawaii. I want to thank everyone for their continued support of the CIMP program 2.0. We're off to a great start. Mahalo. Aloha, I'm Brennan Morioka. I'm the Dean of the College of Engineering at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. First, I wanna say thank you and mahalo for the partnership with the True Initiative, Transform Hawaii Government, Data House on our successful pilot of the CIMP last year. But now I also wanna say how appreciative we are to our new partners for this year's CIMP 2.0 in the addition of Belt Collins and Waipao High School. And introducing cross-disciplinary projects truly helps to give our students a taste of what their future is gonna be looking like because of the variety of disciplines that they're gonna to have to interact with. And this kind of collaboration is a true opportunity for all parties involved. For our students, it allows them to face real world problems that needs real solutions. And it also allows them to be involved with mentors from our industry who just might one day be their future employer. And to our industry partners, it allows them to help to be a part of the pathway for our future leaders in Hawaii. So mahalo to all of our partners in helping to implement what we believe is the future of our educational experience through this industry-infused curriculum. So on behalf of the College of Engineering and the University of Hawaii at Manoa, I say mahalo and we look forward to a successful semester. Aloha. Hi, I'm Galen Sasaki. I'm a computer engineering associate professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering at the University of Hawaii. I'm the liaison between Data House and the College of Engineering for this CIMP project. In this project, our students are mentored and taught by Data House engineers in a real life engineering scenario. This realistic experience helps motivate our students on a computer engineering career path. And in addition, this is a nice project experience they can put on their resume. Finally, I wanna thank Data House for this well-organized project which I know takes a, a lot of time and effort and they do an excellent job. Aloha, my name is Eddie Antai, co-president of Data House, a longtime Kama'aina IT consulting company serving our community for over 45 years. And I'm super excited to be here to kick off the second year of this program that continues to evolve and expand, attracting more diverse people and organizations within our community all with a shared purpose to learn and innovate, which is really our why at Data House, to be a leader in advancing our community through smart innovation and collaboration for a better Hawaii. As you can see on this slide, the three illustrations represent a glimpse of who we are 
as an organization and ohana, sharing our assets and our mana'o, caring for our community, and investing in our future, which is our next generation. And that's why we're so committed to this program to see the many investments that we must make in order to maintain our relevance as a state and a community, knowing that we're living now in this global economy and marketplace. But this program didn't happen by accident or by chance. Uh, the idea was actually born out of a process and model that we created a couple of years ago called the Community Source Innovation Model. Like any idea, it starts with a perceived need or problem, and through iterative steps and experimentation, it evolves into a problem solution fit and eventually a problem market fit, which is essentially an innovative solution at scale. Not to say we're there yet, but definitely headed in the right direction as we attract and engage more shareholders and contributors to this model, which in CIMP, what we call 2.0, are the civil engineering students, the high school STEM students, and of course, another longtime fellow Kama'aina engineering company, Belt Collins, joining us this year. So we look forward to seeing the mentors and the students uh, discover new learnings this year, uh, but more importantly, we're anxiously awaiting to see what they develop as a product and solution at the end of the semester. So no pressure, guys. Mahalo in advance for the community support in this initiative, and we'll look forward to seeing you all back in May. Aloha. Hi, my name is John Chung. I'm a vice president and chief engineer at Belt Collins Hawaii. And we are very excited and honored to have been invited to participate in the CIMP 2.0 this year. Bell Collins Hawaii has been shaping our local community through planning, engineering, and landscape architect for nearly 70 years. We are excited to continue the development of our island home through a different approach by mentoring the future generation of designers and problem solvers. Our founders, Robert Belt and Walter Collins, believe the greatest asset of the firm were the employees. Belt, Belt Collins recently merged with Bowers and Kubota Consulting, another Hawaii firm that shares a similar interest in supporting the employees the, and community and promoting innovation and sustainability. The business of design and engineering profession has evolved tremendously over the course of my career. Computers were a novelty some 30 years ago and firms were lucky to have more than a handful at their disposal. Most of my peers had to share a workstation when they first started. And while design plans were created in CAD, drawings could only be plotted with devices that used pen and ink of all things. Improvements in technology have advanced exponentially, rapidly outpacing the industry's ability to adopt it all. We are continuously finding new ways to integrate technology into our design practice, and more often than not, find it challenging to incorporate it all. Global positioning systems, geographic information systems, three-dimensional point clouds, digital terrain models, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, drones, and Zoom calls, all these technologies are being used to do mind-boggling things. You can take a picture of a roof with a drone, run the image through artificial intelligence, and get a full report on dimensions, areas, and defects without having to get up on a ladder. You can model an entire development, including the roads, landscaping, and buildings, send it to another consultant across the world, have a chat with them over Zoom, and have a photorealistic rendered model that you can walk through in virtual reality overnight. But we need people to help us make sense of this all. We need people who know how to use these fantastic new tools. And we need people who can merge traditional design with modern technologies. And we can find these people right here in our schools and colleges. Our philosophy of integrity, innovation, excellence, collaboration, passion and motivation are compatible with the goals of the Community Innovation Mentorship Program. Bell Collins and Bowers and Kubota look forward to collaborating with our partners to better equip the next generation to join us in making our community a better place through innovation. We're excited to see what they can do. Thank you. Aloha, I'm Keith Hayashi, principal of Waipao High School. We're excited to have the opportunity to participate in the Community Innovation Mentorship Program together with the University of Hawaii at Manoa's College of Engineering and industry leaders, Data House and Belt Collins. As high school participants, we're excited that our Academy of Engineering students will experience authentic, real-world problems and that they'll have the opportunity to engage and be mentored in areas that they are truly passionate about. Our students will definitely deepen their learning and connections in engineering 
while also reflecting on their overall purpose in positively addressing various environmental issues that affect Hawaii. High levels of engagement and rigorous learning that connects high schools together with higher education and industry is truly progressive and exciting. Thank you to all of the partners involved in the CIMP for this wonderful opportunity for our students. Here's a challenge organizations responsible for maintaining facilities face. Manage financial budgets that account for all the costs associated with proposed engineering solutions early in the design phase while providing transparency for all of the relevant stakeholders. While this could apply to any number of scenarios, we have chosen to focus on the stormwater utility fee for the CIMP. Let me explain. How does the community protect the environment to ensure our streams and oceans are clean for our generation and future generations to come? Stormwater runoff is a large source of pollutants in the environment and environmental engineering develops and implements solutions to manage this runoff and protect our waters. The city and county of Honolulu is one entity tasked to protect the environment. They have the ability to require the design and construction of engineered measures that will accomplish this. But much like your car, these measures need to be maintained. If you don't change your oil and tires regularly, eventually the car won't work, if at all. To pay for the maintenance, the city will be implementing a stormwater utility fee in which all landowners pay a fee based on how much runoff leaves their property. More runoff will leave a property that has a lot of rooftops and pavements than a property that's mostly grass. So the city is happy. They reduce pollution and get the fees to maintain the measures that do that. Now let's consider a large landowner like the Department of Education with over 100 schools on the island. That's a lot of rooftops and a lot of pavement, which equates to a lot of runoff, pollution, and fees to pay. And we seem to need more classrooms and play courts every year but that will lead to more rooftops and pavements, leading to more runoff, more pollution, and more fees. I think you get the point. The good news is there are engineering solutions that will reduce the runoff leaving a property, in turn reducing pollution. The bad news is, like the city, landowners will need to maintain these systems as well. So how is the landowner going to track how much money they need to pay the fee for what they currently have, pay to build the new facilities, pay to build and maintain the runoff reduction measures, and pay for the fee for the additional runoff leaving the property because of the new improvements. This is the challenge for the CIMP. Develop a tool that enables landowners like the DOE to understand their stormwater financial obligations now and after they make improvements to their facilities. The technology available today can play a large role in the data collection, management, analysis, design and reporting needed to provide stakeholders timely information to make informed decisions. We just need to integrate them to create a useful tool. Hello, I'm Antonio and I'm the team leader for the Waipahu Stormwater BMP project. I'll be leading a team of five other student engineers to help design some stormwater BMPs in this project. I'm excited for this opportunity to learn about something different than what I'm used to. I'm normally used to construction work, drilling work, as that's what I had to do in my prior internships. I thought this would be a good chance to expand my horizons and try something new for a change. Well, for this project, I hope to gain some new experience about the design process and everything that leads up to the project itself. I'll be working with five other student engineers, which will be John Manuel, Marcus Silvestre, Timothy Troy, and Tyler Onishi. And I will hand it off to Marcus now to give a little bit about our project. Thank you. Aloha, my name is Marcus Silvestri and I'm part of the civil engineering team. Currently, I'm a senior at the University of Hawaii Manoa and I'm excited to be working on this program. Um, the project that we're designing is um, located at Waipahu High School and we are planning on revamping the stormwater BMP systems currently in place over there, as well as adding new systems. Also, we are going to design a facility that's going to be able to utilize the sensors that is being created by the computer science team. And um, yeah, I'm excited to be working with this um, community innovative mentorship program. Thank you. Aloha, I'm John Manuel. I'm a senior at University of Hawaii Manoa, and I am a part of the Waipahu High School BMP project. 
I have some experience in construction and design projects, and I'm also an alumni from Waipahu High School. So it's pretty exciting to be a part of something to help my community. Uh, but it is nerve wracking to be one of the first engineering teams. Uh, so, but I'm also excited to help out and be a part of it also. So this project, it calls for the implementation of BMPs or best management practices at Waipahu High School. And basically what a BMP is, is just different ways to control stormwater runoffs and stormwater pollutants. So overall, we hope to make a design that can be implemented in Waipahu High School. Aloha, my name is Mark Osmond, and I'm one of the three Data House mentors in this year's Community Innovation Mentorship Program, otherwise known as CIMP. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the other two mentors, Rodney Mirashige, who will be by my side in delivering on solutions delivery and project management, and Prabhat Galat, who will be mentoring on the technical aspects of this year's program. As mentors, we'll be guiding the students through a solution-based methodology, which aims to harness the collective impact of collaboration between university, industry, and local government. The triple helix formation that this produces has historically delivered innovative solutions and promoted economic progress around the world. We saw such success in last year's camp program um, when we delivered solutions for the Department of Agriculture. This year, our students will be challenged with delivering a technology prototype that will enable the stormwater utility to perform their vital role in managing stormwater runoff, protecting the environment, investigating new technologies, and exploring different aspects of a fee-for-service-based funding model locally. We will ask the students to define and empathize with the need, ideate on solutions, and deliver this technology prototype in a very short window of time. And coming up next, you'll get a chance to meet some of the student technology team. Hello, my name is Samir Han, and I'm still at UH Manoa, double majoring in computer science and biology. In the past year, my focus for computer science has been mobile app development in regards to weather data usage. I'm proud to be part of this opportunity because I know that my work will directly affect the environment that we live in. I hope that we can show the community that it is possible to reduce water utility fees and support an environment. Thank you. Hi, my name is Z, and I'm a sophomore majoring in computer engineering. In the past few years, I've experienced with multiple programming languages such as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Being a part of this opportunity makes me feel excited and nervous because this will be my first time to work with professionals from different companies. It's also inspiring to know that we'll be the first group in Hawaii to put our design for the stormwater utility into practice. I see this project as an opportunity to learn and gain practical experiences. As a team, we'll be able to apply knowledge that we learn and to give back to the community, since we're all part of the Sohana. Mahalo. Hi, my name is Desmond Lum, a junior at the University of Hawaii at Manoa as a computer engineer. In the years that I've been enrolled, I've developed not only programming techniques and skills, but worked on team-based projects that tested my ability to communicate with others as well. I'm excited to be a part of this opportunity as it allows me to apply my knowledge and skills to a serious issue within my community. I've entered this project as an opportunity to push myself out of my comfort zone and deal with a real life problem that affects Hawaii's current runoff and stormwater issues. I view success as a culmination of my knowledge and efforts being shown in accomplishing a meaningful goal. Hello, my name is Brandon. I'm currently a junior majoring in computer engineering. Over the past years, I've been able to learn a lot with code and able to create simple projects such as a Space Invader game. Being able to join this opportunity gives me the chance to help the community of Oahu for mine and others' futures as well. I'm excited to be working with professionals and working with a real life problem like stormwater utility. 
to be truthful, I'm very excited, but I'm nervous at the same time. I'm very excited to be able to show what I can do, but I'm nervous as I want everything to go well. A challenge that I'm going to have to face is being able to learn different materials and new things and being able to apply it to the real life problem. Thank you. Hi, my name is Gerald Lee. I am a junior currently majoring in computer engineering. In the last year, I was able to work on a rocket that was able to hold a certain payload for a competition. Working on this rocket gave me the opportunity to work with other engineers in different fields from mine. Being a part of this project makes me feel excited because it gives me a chance to learn about what my future career could hold. What made me seek out this opportunity was the chance to gain some work experience, but also help with preserving our island. What success means to me is being able to complete or go beyond what was asked of me or my team. Thank you. Hello, my name is Tamlin Horiuchi and I am the Waipahu High School representative for this project. My team consists of four other juniors, Lawrence, Franz, Pono, and Kenneth. For this project, my team and I will be taking field measurements and using drone data to map the layout of our school in ArcGIS for the University of Hawaii at Manoa civil engineering students. They will then use this data to redesign our school's green infrastructure to reduce the amount of runoff going into the ocean. Specifically, we will be taking measurements from current storm drains, taking data from parking lots, and determining what buildings have rain gutters. For the parking lots, we hope to implement tree trenches as a possible solution. These tree trenches will serve as a point to collect water to reduce the amount of runoff going into the ocean due to storm drains. On behalf of Transform Hawaii government, I would like to thank everyone for participating in the CIMP 2.0 kickoff. Our mentors in Data House and Belt Collins, our sponsors with CHU and the Hawaii Technology Development Corporation, our students through the College of Engineering, and of course, the Department of Education in Waipahu High School. Best of luck to the internship program. Mahalo. Thank you.